everybody, Monkey Films here. Today we're going to vacuum seal some beef jerky and we're going to show you how to use your Food Saver vacuum sealer. And uh, what I've got here, we've got the um, Food Saver Ultra vacuum sealer and then we've got our uh, Food Saver vacuum bags. This is really the expensive part of vacuum sealing food I've noticed. We try to get it on sale at Costco um, and just wait for it to go on sale. Um, and then of course you can always order it online too, and see if there's any deals out there. But today we're going to use three bags and we're going to split up our beef jerky into three different bags so that way um, if you have a problem with one bag the whole batch doesn't go bad. These bags are probably the most expensive part so just watch for them to go on sale. Costco and online usually have the best prices. But today we're going to use three bags and the reason for that is because we're going to ship this and if one bag goes bad in shipping, then the whole batch will be bad. This was a tip that the butcher gave to us, was to use multiple bags. So we're going to use three bags, and we're going to split it up, and um, we're going to go ahead and do it. Okay, I've got my beef jerky here, and I've got it in my vacuum bag, ready to go. So what I'm going to do is uh, flip it over. Well, actually, I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm going to try to spread it out a little bit. And then when it seals, you'll see it, it'll suck all the air out from the top. So this is my opened end here. I'm going to lift up my vacuum bag. I'm going to place the open end right here in the middle of the seal. I'm going to push it closed. And then there are two locks on here, so I'm going to go ahead and lock them. And that should keep it from um, closing. We'll see how it works. Okay, then I'm just going to hit on, and it'll do uh, the vacuum. So let's do it. Okay, so as you can see it didn't work there, so now we're going to try to figure out why. I think my seal was not, uh, or my bag wasn't positioned correctly, so we'll go ahead and try it again. I'm going to try it without the locks this time and see if it does a little bit better. Whoop. Okay, so as you can see there, again, didn't quite vacuum seal it, so I'm going to reposition it again. I'm going to try it on this side this time and see if it works. Yep, there it goes. There it is. So there's your vacuum sealed bag. And it's even got a label on there so you can write the date on it. And the uh, vacuum seal will heat up this top part up here. There's a little bit of glue there. And um, you just lift it up, pull it out, and it's sealed. So there you go, that's how to vacuum seal with a uh, Food Saver Ultra using the uh, Food Saver bags. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, go ahead and click subscribe. Help support the channel. If you have any questions, go ahead and click in the link below. And thanks for watching.